Hi guys, so today we're having a look at the Smashbox Masterclass Palette Create and Transform. To me this is part way between being a palette and being a set, um, but you know, let's see. So it's in this kind of plastic case with a cardboard case and when you open this guy up there are four palettes inside. Now each of these four palettes is removable. So in theory, you could buy this and split them up for gifts or, you know, if you're traveling, you don't need to take the full thing. You can choose your favorites, things like that. Now, the reason that it is called the Create and Transform palette is it comes with eyeshadows, blush and lip colors, but also kind of top coats for all of them. So I know Urban Decay are bringing out a palette that's got lots of like duochromes and shine in it. Um, so there's like a line full of duochromes and then other shadows you can use them on top. So this is kind of the same idea. So, you know, you can do your red lipstick and then you've got this black colour so you can make it a deeper red. Or you've got a pinky with blue shimmer. But I'll show you some swatches. So... First of all, there are 10 eyeshadows in the main palette. We've then got six kind of eyeshadow transforming shades, two blush toppers, a nice set of blushes, a gorgeous contour colour, a bronzer, which I don't use, a highlight, which is not going to work on my skin tone, and then the lip palette. And each of the palettes has got that kind of old-fashioned film effect that Smashbox does a lot. So packaging wise, I actually really love it. It doesn't have a mirror, but to be honest, I don't care. I've always got a mirror. And yeah, let's start looking at some swatches. So I'm going to take the main eyeshadow palette out first. So the shade names are written on here, um, which is, you know, it's I like having shade names. Um, sometimes I find myself counting along to find what one I'm looking at. So I've got a brush, I have primed my arm and I've got my colour switcher here. So the first shade is called Vanilla. Um, I will say these are quite soft. Um, so you can see there's quite a bit of dust kicked up there. But where did I start my primer? So this is just your, you know, Creamy, for me, skin toned colour. Great for an all over lid if you're doing like a pin up look. Great for the brow bone on, you know, any other look. So the next shade is called Washed Out, which is a strange name to give to, you know, a coloured product, but there you go. So it's just this really nice kind of champagne gold. A little bit warmer than something like Kitten. And then after that we've got Nude, which is a good kind of transition shade for pale girls like me. So you can see how that would be blended out. And then after that we've got Hazelnut, which could be used mixed in with Nude for a transition if you're a bit more mid-toned. Uh, or it could just be a crease colour on its own. And it's a little bit warm, I would say, if you were looking to use it as a brow powder. But I guess if you had kind of ready here, you might get away with it a little bit more. After that, we've got Armour. Which is this guy. So it's a sort of pewter, old, silvery colour. Really, really cool. I haven't even swatched most of these yet. I've literally just used the ones I've done for this eye look. So this is fun for me. Then we've got So Spicy, which is a orange shade. That's gorgeous. I think I love the texture in this. Even the mattes are just super buttery and soft, and I love it. So next we've got Tail Feather, ooh, which is what I've got on my lids today. Can you imagine if you used that wet? It would just be... Hmm. And then next we've got Overbaked, which sounds like it should be an Urban Decay colour. There you go. So it's a kind of deeper, whiny red. Pulling a little bit purple in that swatch. Next we've got Plummy, 
which you'll be totally shocked to find that this is a deep purple. Dun dun dun! This is actually what I've got built up in my crease today. Um, it's actually a really nice matte and I like how buildable it is. Makes it really easy to blend out and do do more stuff with. And then last but not least, we've got Night Shoot, which is a sparkly black, which seems to be a kind of staple in any palettes that crop up around Christmas time. It's, it's not the greatest black in the world, but, you know, that's fine. I can work with it. A black like that with a shimmer in it, I wouldn't really be using in my crease anyway, so... Yeah, it would more be smudged under my lash line, which that's going to work absolutely fine for. So that is the main eye palette. Nice selection of colours. You've got a bit of your natural nudie colours. You can do some metallics, you can do some brights, and you can do a good smoky eye. So I think it's actually a really good mix, and it's got mattes that are going to work on various different skin tones might have to do a little bit of matching between them but you'll definitely get something out of that so oh. next we've got the toppers and let's see I'm going to put a little bit more primer just kind of underneath try and get these done on the same arm because I want my other arm for the other products so again, the names are on the front and it does specify which ones are eye and which ones are cheek in case you can't tell when they suddenly become twice the size. Um, so the first one we've got is Bewitched. So this is another kind of staple colour I would say in like wintry palettes and it is the Shimmery Frosty White. And pull a tiny bit on a kind of pinky I would say rather than being a true really really cold white which is nice. Next we've got Dial Up, which is a kind of goldy geochrome. Now you could put that on top of things like the Nude Shade, on top of Plummy, and you'd get a really nice combination. We've then got, I actually want to show this one to the camera, look. I actually think this is a gorgeous colour, it's called Filtered, and it's just this shimmery peach but it's got a really pinky shimmer in it I think it's gorgeous looking but this is my first swatch of it so yeah that's amazing I mean use that really lightly as a highlighter on deeper skin tones could be amazing then after that we've got Strange Magic which is a pink duochrome and I did use a little bit of this mixed in with my highlighter today. You can see that there. And then we've got the Lilacy Duochrome, which is called See What? And this is what I've got in my inner corners. See, it's just that bit cooler. And then lastly, there's a blue called Spectral, which I really like. So it's a very, very icy blue, and it's really cool. So after that, we're on to the cheek and the lip products. So I'm going to leave this arm alone and we'll move on to this one, which does not have eyeshadow primer on it because we're not playing with eyeshadows. So I'll just finish this palette so that I can put it back actually. So there's a cheek topper called Amp It Up, which is a pretty sheer pink, a little bit of a peachy pink. And then there is a kind of more golden orangey toned blush topper as well, as you can see there. So again, I really like the range that's in that palette. I think it's really nice colours and a little bit of something for every skin tone, but nothing that's so out there that it's really not going to work on anybody if that makes sense. It's a very universally flattering palette. So next we have the kind of main face palette. So we've got a blush called Guava. So that's a really, really nice, I was expecting that to be stronger than it is and I actually really like that. Next we have Rosie, which is what I've got on the cheeks today. 
and shock horror, Rosie's pink. Um, so they're not very shimmery blushes because the idea is that you can put these toppers on to change that up. Next, literally this product is just called Contour. That's all that's labelled on the packaging for it. So it's a really nice matte cool contour. And then the next one is just labelled Bronze. So these have instructions more than names. So you can see that's much warmer. And then we've got the powder that they've put in as a highlight, but that's just not going to do much on me. It's a little bit yellowy, it's not pale enough, but then I am quite, quite significantly pale, shall we say. So again, really nice palette. Personally, I won't be using the two on the ends, but these three I really, really like. And they are very slim, so they don't take up a lot of room. And powder highlights like that that are matte, I kind of like under my eyes sometimes. So I'll probably use it for that. And the bronze shade, I guess, would make an okay transition shade as well. You could definitely, where are you? you could definitely use that in the eyes as well. So, lipstick wise. Do, do, do. Open. So we've got the free lip shades at the end and the free transformers at the other end. So let's just get some swatches going on. So I'm going almost backwards in this palette. So we're starting with the lipstick colours. So we've got Witchy, which is a very deep plum. What I will say is from doing these earlier. They're quite a solid poured lip formula, which in some ways is good. I hate when you've got ones that you touch them and it's like it dents and it squidges out the side. But, you know, that's quite a lot of work to get a good thick swatch going on. And trying to get enough colour built up with a brush earlier definitely took me a bit of time, but you'll see that in the video. I love the colour of the red and I love its name. It's called Red Rage. <laughs> which I'll need to check if these are like permanent shades um, so it's a bit of a pinky red and again it takes a bit of work just with the, the way they've formulated these but really nice and then we've got the nudie colour called Audition which is all I've got on today So if you think about it, my hands are warm and they're a bit, they exert a bit more force than a brush and it's taking me a bit of time to build those up. So that's my kind of downside on these lipsticks. Next, moving on to the um, transforming shades. So we've got Fiery, which is a shimmery orange kind of gloss topper. And I want to see how this looks on... I was going to say the red one, but it's a bit too pinky, but anyway. So it's just kind of peeled that out a bit because it's added the orange and added the shimmer. Um, I'll give you a, a solo swatch as well. So it's just a, a goldy coral gloss. And yes, I caught my nail in it, so I had a decent, decent bit to swatch with there. So that actually looks like it's got quite a lot of pigment on my arm, but again, milk bottle skin. Um, next we have a double take, which I've got on today as well. And it is a pink, very, very pale pink with blue iridescent bits in it. And it's very nice. I used it on top of the nude shade. Um, so it gave it a bit more of a cool pink nude vibe going on. And last but not least, there is a transformer called Bankrolled, which looks like a sheer black. Although as soon as I've started rubbing my finger in it, I can see that there is actually bits of shimmer in there as well. Very, very fine shimmer. So this could be interesting. I might be about to get a surprise. Although it still just looks like a glossy black. Um, 
Okay, you're, you're still just a glossy black. So the idea with this is that you can use it on top of the other shades to create like a, a deeper um, version of the same tone. It's good for doing like a kind of ombre lip, um, just kind of working in and it means you're getting the exact same kind of colour tone family thing. So price wise, when I picked this up it was £35, but the full price is £70 so I'm going to try and judge it based on that price. So let me see, so the total weight for the eyeshadows is down as 8 grams and then there's 3.6 grams of soft light powders which I think are like the, the highlighty topper ones, 3.6 grams of blusher, 5.1 grams of contour powder and then 12 grams of lipstick. So you do actually get quite a lot of product in here, you get a lot of variety of product, a lot of variety of finishes, even mix and match and make your own finishes, a lot of different shades. I, I'm normally against expensive sets that are this big because I think there's always so much product that's going to waste but out of this one there's only one product that I really 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 don't see myself reaching for and we all know it's the bronzer. I absolutely love the two blushes and the contour. I love all the transforming shades, I love all these eyeshadows, even the boring browns and the lipsticks, they're a bit hard to work with but I kind of appreciate that as well in terms of like when they're in a palette like this if it gets really warm and they go liquidy or if you've got a really stiff lip brush sometimes it just, I don't know. It's, I think they've almost overcorrected one of my pet hates with poured lipsticks which is when they're so soft that you put your finger in and they squish out. But personally, I think this is worth it if you've got somebody in your life that loves makeup and you're looking for a Christmas present for them. I don't think you'd go far wrong with this. I think it's going to work with so many different skin tones, so many different tastes of makeup. And I just, I love it. It's a lot of money. I wish I'd known in advance about this and the fact that it was going to go on offer and I'd have got it up before that, but I, I love this. I can see myself reaching for this again and again. I can see this being my new contour, my new blush, my new kind of highlight combination. I love my eyeshadow today and the lipsticks, okay, they're a bit of a pest to work with, but once they're on they're really comfortable. The lasted ages, I did have a KFC so mine didn't last all day. The blushers lasted really well. The inner corner highlight has lasted which doesn't happen to me. You know, I touched up a tiny bit before this video but not that much at all. So I hate saying that I love it because I know the price of it. Sorry. I love it. It's a great buy. I love, love, love this palette. We'll be reaching for it a lot. If you've got any questions about this, please leave them down below. I have got a separate video filmed where I do this eye and cheek and lip look, so that will be going up soon, so stay tuned. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, it really helps me out, and I will see you later. Bye!